He's huge. He has a long, long chain and a bowl in his head. See No Evil 2006 starring Kane. Yeah, the pro wrestler Kane. That's all I'm going to say. I want to talk about this movie. The beginning of this movie really had me. I love the beginning. It's so creepy and authentic and just like serial killer feel shit here. You're coming into the house uh, alone to, 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 to save someone's life. It's fucking great. I love how they do it. I love how they end it. Uh, and Kane, I do like him as a villain, but I don't love him. I don't love him as a big beastly uh, dude. I, you know, I don't know what it is about it, but it's just not creepy enough for me. It's not vicious enough for me. Going up against of other serial killers in, hi uh, in the history of movies, you have a lot to live up to. You need to really manage that and practice that. And uh, someone that really cares about that history, uh, Mr. Kane doesn't. But either way, it's for a paycheck for Mr. Kane. But I'm telling you, fucking A, check out this movie. The beginning, if they would have went at the beginning of this movie and dragged that, that story along to, to the middle and also to the end, it would have been good. But they take the movie out. They take you out of it by bringing you into a new situation, into a dull-ass hotel you don't give a shit about. But either way, there's a one or two good, okay kills that you might remember. No one you remember out of acting except for Mr. Kane. But uh, check this movie out. If you don't, you get your eyes popped the fuck out by Mr. King.